Witnesses have continued to testify this afternoon in the death penalty case for Sean Finnegan. That man from Oak Ridge is accused of kidnapping, torturing and killing a woman from Knoxville named Jennifer Paxton. A warning, the details of this case are disturbing and graphic. That is the suspect on your screen and 10 News reporter Ellis Roll joins us now. You've been following this trial. Let's talk about what happened on day three, Ellis. John, the chief medical examiner took the stand for several hours this afternoon. She went through the details of Jennifer Paxton's autopsy as well as the autopsy photos. Again, this is graphic. Um, the medical examiner, the, the graphics weren't shown on the live court feed. The photos weren't shown. Um, again, I said they're graphic, but while they were being shown to the jury, Finnegan looked away or at the floor. The medical examiner also used a mannequin to show Paxton's injuries. She said there were too many to count, but they included sharp force injuries, blunt force injuries, and strangulation. Paxton died by ligature strangulation, meaning a small string or rope was used. Paxton had dozens of slices into her skin and several parts of her body were cut off, some in a precise manner. It appeared to be postmortem. There is no vital reaction and it's a very nice, precise cut through the cartilage. So it's lower than the bone and it's through the cartilage and it's beautiful, regular cut that cut out the kind of like a 10 of the nose. The nasal bridge was completely gone. It's very regular. It was almost kind of, it looks like a by design. You can see Finnegan fidgeting as the ME shows the mannequin. Now several members of the jury winced and looked away while the autopsy photos were being shown. Now the jury was dismissed just a bit ago. The state seems to be nearing this, tr this phase of the trial, nearing the end of this phase of the trial. Um, it seems like they just have a few more witnesses left to call, but trial does resume tomorrow morning and we will be back here tomorrow. John. Expected to last two weeks. Ellis, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you, live in Anderson County.